Hey, it's been a minute. I'm Corinne and I'm live on Facebook right now. How are you? How's it going today? Thanks for stopping by on a Sunday. So this is my new desk and I've done a lot of upgrades like a seat pillow, a velvet pillow, and today we're gonna do a sacred path card, so please stick around. How are you today? So nice to see you. And also in this video, I'm going to show you my new vases. So here's one of them. And how are you doing? It's so nice to see you. Also, I got some little velvet ottomans. And here's one of them. So there's a matching one over there. Oops, sorry, let me fix this. It's like you spend so much time getting the camera ready, but then when you move it, you gotta put it back. Oh yeah, and that's an upgrade, the seashell. So the pink bed with a matching ottoman, little pink ottomans now, and it had a bench when you saw that in my last video. So let's jump to it, shall we? Thanks for joining. I really love you and I miss you guys. And I do my best to show up here even though I have family members that I help out and that's kind of time consuming, but I don't mind because I know that you understand. Hey, how's it going guys? So today we're doing the Sacred Path cards and we had some interesting events happening over the weekend of the weekend after the 4th of July 2024 so now we're on Sunday so we want to like just sort of like move through this you know like stuff happens and we just want to like go through the events as they come up so we're definitely going to shuffle because we want to mix it up and I'm thinking that a couple of my Regular cards got in there. No, I think all 52 are here. I don't know if there's additional ones. So we're going to mix up this energy. And we're just going to sort of slap the cards around a little. See what we can come up with. Yeah, we definitely want to mix it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I feel that. Hi, Michael. How are you? Thanks for the stars. Mwah. Thank you, dear. Yep, I definitely feel great. And I'm ready to, look at that. I'm ready to get this card action going. I know there's something in here that we're supposed to know and it's gonna line up exactly with our eternity. There it is. Woo, sun dance. Are you kidding? Wow. See? Oh, and thunder beings, of course, because there's thunder where I'm at. Well, there was yesterday. So, yeah, of course. So, you know that the thunder beings, we, they actually, we thrive. Our, we get our energy force, our life force from the thunder beings. So, please be nice to the thunder. Oh, and just so you know... You can get electrocuted in a pool or a jacuzzi or an outdoor embodiment of water if there is thunder and lightning 
in the sky. So for people that don't know that, I kind of wanted to add a little bit of my informational stuff. And I was hoping we would get a new card. So this is actually fantastic. The Sundance, what? Ah, we almost have to go out in the sun. But since we're here at my new desk, and it feels absolutely fabulous to say hi to you over here, the energy is very good here in this corner of the house. It's really strange because this is exactly where the only place that my desk, my new desk, will fit. And I'm going to show you it right now as soon as I open this page and get it ready for our sun dance. I actually do have room to dance here in my room. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay, we'll get right into it. Okay, so we'll put that there. So this right here is my lovely desk. And it's so effing cool because I just used my perfect desk chair and I ordered these online and they're so cute. And you know what's interesting? They kind of skimped on the stuffing, but it doesn't bother me because this it would be too thick if they were really thick. So it was totally meant to be, okay? Totally meant to be. That... That is totally meant to be, that ottoman. <laughs> it has gold on it, and it's matching. Oh, and then here's the vase I promised. Let's see, let me get this. There. The new leopard, pink leopard vase. Everything's pink with gold. Coincidentally, my mom is an artist. And when she went to Asia of some sort, this is one of the cherry blossoms she painted. And it's just fabulous because it has more of like a mauve purple. But there's also like pink in those leaves and the gold. And it just all pulls together. Don't you think? Okay, so my wonderful chair, and now we're going to find out about, we might even dance to the sun dance, you never know. I actually have my own music now, which is so cool. So anybody who saw any of my recent reels, I have a couple tunes that were gifted to me by this wonderful musician and it's really cool and i'm just i'm sharing parts of it at a time i could play one of it right now actually i can i could cue that let me cue it so you guys will be able to hear it also because even if it comes on late at least we'll get a part of it i should even plug these speakers in you know that Okay. Yeah, let me get these Bluetooth speakers going. Just leave the speakers. It'll play. It doesn't need to be that much. Okay. So my lovely new desk, I'm setting up the computer so I could play a little bit of my song. And the song that I'm about to play, one, there's two of them now. So one of them I have released, the other one I haven't. And I've been releasing one portion and one reel and then another portion and another reel. And there's so much to the song though. And so there's more to the song that I shared. The second one that was gifted by the same person. Within the sacred arbor, the warriors dance the sun. Tied to the tree of life until the dancing's done. They feel the pain of woman, 
so the people may live. Seeking medicine visions as of their pain they give. Okay, the laptop's loading. And that right there is my cat's area. It's She's got her own thing. And there's my pillowcase with my airing out so I could use a new pillowcase. Oh, and I have a new bed cleaning trick that I want to show you guys. So stay tuned. Ooh, check this out. Look at this energy that just showed up. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> yeah, I love those windows things. And I, oh, that cup right there, that's my cat's cup on her nightstand. <laughs> all right. So who's all here, man? I miss you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your compliments. All right, we're doing the sun dance. We're just doing it right now, even though we're not even doing anything. We're just doing it. Oh, we are doing something, though. I'm, I want to share the song while I read it. And actually, it's going to be the beginning of the second song. And if you just came into this, I shared one of my songs, a portion of it, and then a later portion of it. And today, I'm going to share the beginning and actually just let it run through. That energy is like off the hook. It won't even let me in my computer. <laughs> it's like a vortex saying, I need you to pay attention to me. <laughs> okay, look at this. I left windows open, close it. Oh yeah, I've been learning about a lot of stuff. I'm definitely gonna share it with you the golden ratio and the Fibonacci numbers. <laughs> so I'm going to, let me just minimize that so I don't forget to put that on my playlist. Now, it's here on my computer. Yeah, okay. Just open the social media file and there you go. It's all there. Okay, and now since it's a new file, I gotta remember what I called it. Probably songs or, uh, it's here, yeah, songs. Oh, damn, I'm good. <laughs> it just sounds logical, right? And it's called Between Two Worlds. And that is what the artist named it. I feel like I manifested these songs, there's two of them, so I'm gonna play the beginning of the first one, and then we're gonna go ahead. So Sundance is self-sacrifice, you know? And we're gonna go about the teaching now. So every chapter is called the teaching, but every 52 Sacred Path card has either a theory, like self-sacrifice, an action, it has emotions, and it's all there it's all there for us to learn and it's called the sundance and so i figure since i don't like to give away too much at once i would like to keep going with the second song and just save the first song for when the time is right so let's go The plumbing is so loud here. It's like I could hear when someone turns on a sink, which is good because then I know if my mom's alive, right? No, she's really healthy and good. It's just, it's good to know, it's good to hear action that she's like out and about doing her thing in the house. Okay, so please let me know if you can hear that or if you can't hear it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it up a little because if you, I have a feeling it's real light. Okay. 
try testing. Testing one, two, right? Tell me if it's too loud, please. I would love your feedback. Oh, you got it, Troy? You got the music? So what do you have as far as volume? Is it like overpowering my voice? Hi, Ray, how are you? How are you, Ma? Is that too loud? Tell me. Talk to me, baby. The traditional sun dance is the sacred ceremony or ritual that allows warriors the right to give their pain, to give of their pain, of their blood, of their prayers, and of themselves, sacrificing for the good of all the people. Hey guys, I didn't play on this. Yeah, I planned a reading, but I didn't know I was gonna get the sun dance. Okay. The sun dance is usually held once a year by each tribe. It is a four day ceremony that honors the four directions and the sacred tree of life and gives the warriors an opportunity to prove their worthiness to be protectors of the people. The Sundance is called by its name because Grandfather Sun is known and honored as the source of love and warmth on the Earth Mother. Okay, this calls for a stretcher size. I ain't even gonna lie. This is like Grandfather Sun. You know, we must war, we are warriors, we are leaders, and we must worship Mother Earth. And if you don't like the word worship, then it's whatever, however you relate to it. You know, to me, I'm like, oh gosh, thank you for giving us this life, the sun, the moon, the earth, the thunder beings. Father sky, the blue sky with the white clouds. Thank you for giving this earth to us. Mother earth, the trees, the oxygen we breathe, the wind, the lightning, the rain, the rain, huh? Ooh, can we talk about the rain? We're just gonna stretch. I did this in the tub a little bit today, but not enough. But yeah, probably for like an hour, but not like all this. Mainly just straight up and then in front of me. So how is that music? Is that like too loud? Because I feel like I have to yell over it and I'd rather lower my voice. So let's, let's see. Okay. The male aspect of grandfather son demonstrates how warriors can be the protective and loving force that allows all members of the tribe to grow and flourish under their protection. As grandfather son gives light to all green and growing things on the earth mother and protects us from darkness of thought, heart, or total night. Oh, total night. It's like... We can all relate to that. Give me a second. Thank you. I'm going to start the waves again. Hold on. I know what page it is. Okay. Protection. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's start that sentence. As grandfather son gives light to all green and growing things on the earth mother and protects us from darkness of thought, heart, or total night. So the darkness of that, the darkness of the thought, the darkness of the heart, the darkness of the total night. So must the warriors of the people protect their nations from enemies, loss of courage, and the dark night of the soul 
when fears take over. So we got enemies, loss of courage, and when the when the dark night of the soul fears take over. That actually happened to me. That happened to me sort of recently too. And it's kind of a force. It's true. They do take over. That's why the grandfather son gives light to all green and growing things on Mother Earth and protects us from darkness of thought, heart, or total night. So must the warriors of the people protect their nations from enemies, loss of courage, and the dark night of the soul when fears take over. So we are protected from it. And that's why whenever, like, because there are spirits, they are there. And then when I feel one, I'll be like, yo, dude, I know you're there, okay? So it feels awful, and I'm just going to let you, like, chill and leave for a second. Go. You know, I'll tell them to leave, literally, if I have to. Normally, I could just think them away because I know that my warriors are protecting me. The warriors that I've manifested. The area for the sun dance is prepared in a sacred manner. Good. A circular. I can make a circle right there. It's big right there. Let me see. Whoa, yeah, look at that. I can make a whole circle. I probably should remove this, though. Just in case. I don't want to, like, hit my knee on that. All right. Okay. Hey, how are you? Long time no see. Let me see. All right. The rest of the cards, they wanted to join us, so they're here. Hi, Jerry. Wish I lived around there. Well, where do you live? How do you even know where I live? <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> Maybe we're neighbors. I move around a lot. The area for the sun dance is prepared in a sacred manner, a circular arena that has been prepared by the women is not women, but women, plural, is set up and an arbor of brush is built around the center. <laughs> now we're talking my language. Did you say go to the nursery to get some plants and brush? Sundance tree, where the Sundance tree will be placed. Oh, this so needs to be outside. I was just looking outside my window going, God, look at that big space. There's so much to be done there. I don't even know where to start. I've had a few consultations, like build something. And then I'm like, no, it's going to be too loud. And then just make a stage. So far, it keeps leaning on that. I think that needs to be done. That way I could carve that out in the lot. And just kind of work my way over. And if I just sell the house before I even get that far, then so be it, right? But at least start with the stage, even though there's weeds and stuff, but that's awesome. That's just life, right? That's just perfect. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna, after, after my vacation, I plan on taking a nice beach vacation. So I don't wanna do any kind of projects outside in the middle of like a high ozone, sun layer so i'm going to put those off for the fall this standing person tree will be carried never touching the ground okay so i gotta put it in the back of my suv and then hug it and bring it to the site, so never touching the ground from the site where it was cut to the center of the circle where it is planted into the earth. Okay, so I have to have the space ready before I plant the tree. And don't worry, we're gonna be doing this together. I will make reference to the Sundance, the standing person, okay? Great. The actual warrior ceremony with their sponsors is secret. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so I have to film it <laughs> because it's secret. Oh, thanks for asking, Jerry. It said it has to be secret after I said that. So I have to film it 
and then what time oh what time oh well i'm gonna take a vacation first and then this is gonna be later we're gonna get to the standing tree by the end of summer for sure okay however i will say that it is very beautiful and gives respect to the standing person the dancers mother earth native tribal tradition and grandfather son it all makes sense right just all our favorite people <laughs> the dancer oh the standing person of the tree the dancers we all have dancer friends right mother earth native tribal tradition we love that and grandfather son there we go when the tree is in place the sun dance bundle oh yeah it's brushed remember but it's still the standing person okay so is the brush separate from the tree let's go back and if anyone knows just tell me okay oh okay so first you have to put the brush this sounds dangerous i, I hope we're not going to light it on fire if we are we might have to do it like out in the open like i don't know i'm just not sure <laughs> okay all right but we could do our own we're still going to do our own variation there's going to be the brush which i have i could just cut it and make it and then we're going to have the tree right and that one has to be carried and like delivered to the brush it has to be planted the tree okay so it's going to be like on the side of where the concrete is where the stage is already all right it represents the tree of life it's planted into the earth in the circle it gives respect to the standing person, the dancers, Mother Earth, Native Tribal Tradition, Grandfather, Son. Okay, I always like to, like, absorb what I just read because that's deep. Like, we just literally planted a tree <laughs> in our minds, in my backyard. All right. When the tree is in place, the Sun Dance Bundle, C card 28. Okay, it wants us to check out another card. Which is cool, because I've actually been reading about cards lately. A lot of cards. 28. All right, let's just... Okay, we got to get the card, though. So, here. Why am I trying to put them upside, right side up? Just find the dang 28, okay? Here. Voila. Do a few at a time. That's a not the card it goes in the 52 of course it's going to be on the bottom i almost want to just shuffle at this point and be like here okay <laughs> medicine bundle oh all right medicine bundle that card stays out okay and let's keep reading We'll learn more about that one. Is placed high on the Sundance pole. Okay, so, okay, this is getting interesting. <laughs> and I'm wearing like a see-through top, and now we're talking about using a pole. Oh my God. I don't have one of those poles here, but I'll tell you what, I actually can climb a pole. I could spin on one, and I could dance around one. Yeah, this is interesting. If, yeah. It would be neat to have like sand out there with a pole and that way when you land you'll land on the sand like a lot of like lush or what would be softer okay so the sundance pole which is the new medicine identity of the standing person tree oh all right interesting Sundance bundle is placed high on the Sundance pole. I'm like putting it there, literally, the bundle, the flowers. There's a lot of pink in there, obviously, because I got my pink desk theme, my pink bed, my pink vases, my pink, my pink ottomans.
my pink bed frame, everything, my pillows, my bedroom, my bedroom makeover. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I just read the last sentence of the first paragraph that I was just reading. Okay, so remember that the dance, are you enjoying this just as much as I am? The dance pole, the sun dance pole. In Sioux, and these are like native tribes. In the Sioux, Kiowa, and Crow traditions, the honor of climbing the tree and placing the bundle was given to a Maho, a person considered to have two souls in one body. Okay. Like I said, I've climbed a lot of trees. I didn't say, I didn't tell you yet, but I have climbed a lot of trees. We had a lot of trees in the backyard. We had a plum tree. The most, the biggest was lemon, but that has thorns, but I was able to just reach up and get those. But I did climb the plum tree and the apricot tree. And so I just literally in my mind on that sentence, I climbed two, I climbed a pole and a tree. In the Sioux, Kiowa, and Crow traditions, the honor of climbing the tree and placing the bundle was given to Maho, a person considered to have two souls in one body. Now I know what that felt like, what that was going on when I was on the top of the pole at the club and I was like swinging around and I'm like honoring the pole. I was actually honoring the tree of life. I felt the energy and I'm like, anybody who judges dance is like closed-minded because it's an art. And so that's what you're doing. You're giving the Maho, a, 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 a person considered to have two souls in one body. It was given to a Maho, a Maho, a person considered to have two souls in one body. So a Maho. Okay, so you're actually giving it to a spirit, a person, which is, it's not a Maho, it's a, and then Maho, it's a Maho. The A is just like, it's a vase. It's, it's an apartment. It's a vase. It is a house. Okay. A person considered to have two souls in one body. So that is what a maho was. Two souls. That might mean, it might mean a lot of stuff. It might mean things that are also coinciding with the brain. Just so you know, it might. The two souls person was a man with female traits or a female with male characteristics. Okay, this is getting really kind of hot actually <laughs> because I'm open to like all this stuff. Like I don't have a type, I'm just like. So the two souls person was a man with a female traits, a man with female traits or a female with male characteristics. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. I felt like both. I might be a maho. <laughs> I've literally felt like both. I'm very androgynous. I'm just like, I'm here. <laughs> I definitely know that I'm a lady as far as if, People sometimes ask me if I'm a man and I'm like, well, that's because I've been doing extreme sports all my life. Right now, my extreme sport is fast walking. <laughs> all right. The two souls person in Native America, this was considered the third sex and was a rare and beautiful gift. Yeah, hell yeah, why not, right? <laughs> that's like way better, right? Because that's like closed-minded just to be one. If I, if I had a pick of being one, this or the other, I'd rather be the one with the two souls. How about you? Let me know which one you'd rather be. I'll give you the options again. It's they consider the female gender or ah, I went like this in the thing. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one that I would want to be definitely. But then if they gave me that third option, like for to try it on for like a day <laughs> or a week, I would take it. But yeah, or the male gender. <laughs> I did it before. Or the Maho, which is the one that gets to be masculine with feminine characteristics and also two souls. So the other pers person inside is the female or female characteristics with also male. Okay. I'm like stuck on that. I'm blown away. So remember in Native America, this was considered the third sex and was a rare and beautiful gift. I'm probably the third sex. <laughs> the Mahu could represent the men and women equally. Cool. Yeah. Since only one person could climb the Sundance pole, that's true. It's, it should be one because if the other one needs to slide down, it was good luck to have that person be of both sexes. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Is that why I made so much money? <laughs> the Sundance bundle is a leather pouch that carries the sacred medicine of totems. They call it androgynous, by the way, when you don't really buy into like gender crap. You're just like, you know you're a woman the last time you checked <laughs> and you feel feminine because your mom dressed you in cutesy i magnon dresses and took you to really cutesy places but are you feminine i feel feminine i am but that doesn't mean if you're a female that you have to feel it you feel what you feel right and then as humans, we express what we feel. So sometimes if somebody has a high-pitched voice or somebody walks with a sway in their hips and people may judge them, but actually that's just their physical and mental characteristics. So it's really good to like love each other, accept each other for who we are. The Sundance Bundle is a leather pouch that carries the sacred medicine of totems. Through these bits of fur, teeth, feather, feathers, bones, and claws, the essence of and medicine of those creature beings is felt. Felt too? No. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sure they made the felt out of the feathers and the fur. Through these bits of fur, teeth, feathers, bones, and claws, the essence of medicine of those creature beings is felt right. And it's carried around in the leather pouch. I have stuff like that, like little pouches and stuff. I like to, I never put anything in them. The Sundance bundle also carries special items created for that particular year to bring about a specific desired outcome. Well, that's neat because I got into pink and I felt like velvet. I wanted a lot of velvet. So that's my cat's bed, but that's my velvet bed. And actually, usually a bench goes there, but it's over here. All right. I got a sip of this water. Yeah, that's what I do. I change my pillowcase almost every day. I'll flip it. But sometimes if I went out for a long time, I feel like I got a lot of sweat there or whatever. I'm like, I don't want to sleep in that tonight. I'll just flip it. I'll get a new one. I'll get a new pillowcase. Oh, and I got pink pillowcases, too. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> All right. 
Let's continue learning, shall we? Oh. Oh, I sort of played, like, in my video, I played the song through once. My song. And I explained about it earlier. Okay. Huh. Remember about it carries items for the year. So I felt like just soft pink. I'm like, I want a new headboard. First I wanted a new bed and then I'm thinking I really need a really soft color in my bedroom. And then the gold and this desk has the gold legs. I did show you earlier in the video. I'll show it again. The ancient... Oh, okay, so the Sundance, it, carried, it, it, it it wants to bring about a specific desired outcome. So that we can't pass up over that. Okay, so, so the Sundance bundle also carries special items created for that particular year to bring about a specific desired. So that's actually kind of interesting because the vases that I showed a little earlier, twice, they... They do represent something to me, and it has to do with abundance and success and attracting, like the law of attraction, like attracting the things that I want. So if I want money, then I manifest money. And one way that I do that is by putting an open vase in my vicinity in my house i have many of them actually i'm really into vases so just put an open vase you know and you will attract abundance through the vase the abundant the, the vase will draw the luck and the success into the open space. And actually, it's a native belief. And I was so, I did that on a live video. I realized that it was something I read and it said, place open bases. And I was like, oh yeah, all my life I've been doing that. So it was like confirmation. It felt really good. Okay, so the desired outcome is you know, to be more financially secure, right? Like I'm doing pretty well, but I need to be, not I need, but I want. My desired outcome is I want to continue. I want to be able to continue to not ever have to want money. You know, I just, I want to make enough. Oh, and I do want to retire too. I do want to retire. So if you see me sitting here at 94, I just haven't retired yet. Because <laughs> I don't know when I want to retire. Maybe it just feels good to say it. But who knows? Because I do enjoy everything that I do. The gardening, the videos, taking my mom out to dinner, the ancient items enclosed can be a pipe, a Sundance doll, or an eagle wing whistle. Okay, so they're talking about also what you can put into the bundle, the Sundance bundle, the leather pouch. And you can also, the ancient items enclosed. So they say just enclosed. You could put them there. You could have them near you. A pipe, a Sundance doll. Okay, a Sundance doll. <laughs> well, I have two cute little dolls right here. <laughs> a little pink flamingo and a little lion. Okay. And, okay, so an eagle wing whistle. Okay, I don't have a whistle. <laughs> I 
and that's that sounds nice. These items ensure the protection of the various totems and benevolent spirits. Okay. So totems. Okay. So don't think I'm totally silly, but I have to look up benevolent because if I'm teaching this, Hi, Faye. I want to be able to deliver you. I, I kind of know what it, what, what it means. Okay. Well-meaning and kindly of an organization serving a charitable rather than a profit-making purpose. Okay, benevolent. Oh, okay. So, well-meaning. Faye, what do I do for a living? I think that's what you asked me. I actually am a real estate investor. That's where I've made most of my money. And then the other income has been in my video career and my entertainment industry starting as a film producer and just going into film production all my life, but then television production. And uh, I just, I do, I produce my own stuff. So it feels really good to not have to work for anybody because I'd rather make videos and then actually make a feature film because then I don't even have to go anywhere and I could just sit here and teach and read and learn. Okay. Thanks for asking. Okay. So let's go back to the spirits. These items ensure the protection of the various totems and benevolent spirits. Okay. The good, the nice spirits, well-meaning and kindly and the the items that you have, the pipe, the Sundance doll, or the eagle wing whistle, those are being protected. Those are protecting. They will ensure the protection, the items you're carrying, of the various totems and benevolent spirits. Okay. All right, good, 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 good. We got it. We got it. Now we know, like in Venice Beach, when you carry around like a leather little pouch and you got a crystal in there and you meet somebody and you're like, Hey, you want to feel my vibe? And you show them your crystal. Well, these are the meanings in, in the world and in nature behind those good vibes. And it doesn't just have to be the pipe, the Sundance doll or the Eagle wing whistle, but they're telling you what they used to carry. But if you want to carry something, symbolic of any of those then please do these items ensure the protection of the various totems and benevolent spirits so we want to protect our spirits that are protecting us each sun dancer looks for a medicine vision in order to know his place in the further growth of the tribe as well as in the tribe's destiny okay I, I was dancing on that, literally. I, I literally was in the circle, and I was like, each sun dancer looks for a medicine vision in order to know his place in the further growth of the tribe as well as in the tribe's destiny. That's major right each sun dancer so i highly recommend if you can and you could dance sitting down too like literally you could literally dance sitting down you know you could start by moving slow and you could like dance sitting down right i do it in my car every day <laughs> okay not safe just kidding okay Traditionally, each sun dancer must be sponsored by a warrior who has danced the sun before him. I could definitely say that's me. I am a sun dance warrior. And strength of character. Who, me? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> the members of the warrior clan. Woo, now we got the clan going who choose to sacrifice for the good of the people. Wow, good people. Must prepare for three days prior to the dance with fasting and praying and instruction from the male elders. Wow, that's cool. Cause I'm always asking my female elder, my mother, 
you know, certain things like, do you like this? Or do you, do you think I should wear this? Or, and she's just really, really good with that. And I also do things three days out. Like, I'll, like I think I thought of doing this about three days ago, actually. <laughs> so here I am. All right. So let's not miss that they do with fasting and praying. So the fasting, I don't know. I actually fasted for breakfast this morning, and then I had a half of a nectarine for lunch. So I'm doing a little fasting today, but I trust me, I have enough food in my bloodstream right now for the next literal day or two. So, but I'm not gonna try that. I'll have dinner. All right, I might even make a smoothie, which I'm gonna be doing a new smoothie video. So this is like kind of lengthy and we're gonna have to pick it back up because we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna pick it back up. I might even make a video and just air it. That way you don't miss it. Yeah, I have to do that for you guys. Okay, because sometimes I promise that we'll finish and I don't get to it. I apologize. So this is really important and I'm learning a lot and I could tell you are too because I see some people hanging on. And so I'd really love to, we'll get through this, okay? We're gonna do this together. On the third day, the dancers are pierced. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> Unless you wanna partake where you're at, by all means, on the third day, the dancers are pierced. If you feel like getting pierced, that's on you, on your own cognitive decision, and I am not held responsible for that, or anything that you choose to do that I read from this book or that I do, that is all at your own risk and please be safe. So the dancers are pierced through the connective tissue at the pectoral muscles. Okay, that I'm definitely not doing. <laughs> First with an awl, oh, isn't that like a tool? Then with a sharpened cherry wood stick. Yeah, that's how they do it. I've seen somebody's belly button get pierced once and I actually was pierced down lower even and I didn't see how they did it. I don't think he did it like that. It felt like a hole puncher. But, okay. Um, then thongs are attached to the small stakes that have been run through their breasts. Oh, yeah. Thongs. To the Sundance tree or the tree of life, creating a special umbrella or carousel-like effect. Oh. So it was like protruding out with an umbrella. Just, just in case anyone couldn't tell they were from a tribe, right? <laughs> it's like, when you see that, you're definitely sure of it. Especially their shirts are off and they look like they're tan because they've been outside. It looks like they've been doing that a lot and they look strong and they look proud and honorable. I love Native American culture. Okay, so it's really good that we're not reading the next paragraph because it's about like, history but we need to know the history of this so we're definitely going to continue i am i'm going to do a reel let me see if i could read that in less than 60 or 90 seconds no probably not it's going to be my next stagnant video i don't know why i called it that a lot of people call it that but it's actually pre-recorded. That's the easiest way to say it for people that don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Right now I'm live. And when you record a video, to me it's called pre-recorded, but they also categorized it under on demand. And now they're calling it something else. I knew, I used it in a comment. So I'm referring to video that is recorded before it's aired to you and probably edited. But right now I'm actually live. Thank you for joining and thanks for the subscribers. I really, I see you. Oh, and I'm going there right now, actually, to the subscriber group. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you for joining. Thank you for following my page and watching my videos. I love you. I do miss you. And I know you understand that sometimes I have to take care of some people before I could show up and I'm glad I'm here, but I have been showing up around here every day and doing my best. And so everything's going great. So I hope everything's wonderful in your world. I love you. Thanks for being on Team Corinne. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, and thanks for the stars. 
And don't forget to tune in for my, it's going to be about a two, three minute video of the rest of this chapter. So, oh, and then we're also going to learn more about medicine bundle. Great, because we want to know how to make it before we actually, because we're going to do all this stuff together. We're going to make the bundle. We're going to plant the tree of life, or it's going to be a pole. Who knows? Who knows what goes on? Okay, so we got that. And thank you so much. I love you very, 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 very much. Thank you.